Woo! <laughs> so, I'm feeling like this whole past life gender thing has really come full circle for me. Um, I was thinking about the, uh, the Bi Curious Thoughts and that that was probably related to being a woman in a past life. Um, there's a little more background, something I don't think that I've shared is that while I was at Rhythmia, you know, I've talked about the three step process of seeing who you've become, um, merging back with your soul and healing your heart. Well, I was merged back with a piece of my soul while I was there, and this piece of my soul was a witch, was a woman that had been a witch and been persecuted and killed uh, in the past. I mean, I was her, I assume, and a piece of that soul was lost through the trauma of that. Um, so I merged back with her, and I was thinking about, again, the thoughts, and I connected it to her. Okay, it was her, and maybe other, other iterations of women as well, but the witch is the one that's more, more relevant um i got a confirmation so yep that's what's going on for you and also the reason you have trouble connecting with men is because she was betrayed and murdered by men and you still carry that trauma with you you don't fully trust them because of that and i I connect with men okay, but I can connect much more easily with women. Um, and I've known, I've known, I felt that I need to work on this connection with men. I didn't know what the issue was before. I just knew that like, I just, I'm uncomfortable. There's a problem there. There's a trust issue. And so now I know the origin of the trust wound with men. I was a witch that was persecuted and killed um, in a previous life. Which might sound crazy to whoever it is watching this, or might totally make sense to some of you. Um, to me, at the moment, it's a little like this is this is reality. Like reality is way different than I thought. So, but it makes total sense that I have a trusting with men, and that just it resonates. So I, I really that's I, I accept it. I do. Um, it really, really resonates. Like I said, I've had a feeling that I was a woman before for many, many years. Um, reincarnation has been a thing I've known since I was a baby. That like, maybe not a baby, but a small child. That um, there was a part of me that I couldn't die. I just always knew that. Like, there was this part that I would still be alive. So I think that coming back to reincarnation as a thing in this part of at this phase of my life wasn't that hard because I knew it as a child. Um, so yeah, it's not, and this is, this is something else to consider is that you kind of already know these things. If you search inside yourself, you'll have some knowings about reality, about past lives that you've always kind of known that they're there, they're in the background. Cause we all remember a bit of this stuff. We always have, we always kind of know that there's more to the story than just what we're seeing in this current reality um but yeah that's <laughs> that's my trust wound to now heal um and i think it'll be a lot easier to know that it's from the past it's this other time when uh when women that were considered witches were pers persecuted and that's not now so i don't have to be afraid of that anymore right and I'm not a woman. I'm a I'm a I'm a man that's a wizard. So I might get persecuted for that. Um, but yeah, that particular trust wound doesn't have to follow me any any further in in this life. I can heal that and and move forward as a more whole person. So I hope that's helpful to someone. Thanks.